Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, uh, Saggy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love like peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your key to the week this week you have the tower card right uh, there was one other sign that got this for their um key to the week and i can't remember who it was um but what this basically says is all bets are off this week right so you're kind of getting a prelude to the eclipse before the eclipse um, it looks like a, like a whole week before the eclipse, right? That being said, this kind of tells me that in some way, shape or form, this week you've got your finger on the pulse. So while there might be some shocking or some strange news that comes in, it may also be some news that reaches you about how you're viewed or something that's happened in your personal past. This might be something that comes up and it's not like, oh, the past comes to haunt you or anything like that. It may just be for some of you, like something that's been like a misunderstanding. Maybe you look at something and you're like, hang on a sec. I didn't realize that, do you know what I mean? And it's like, this has happened to me before as well it's happened to everybody I think you know sometimes somebody says something about how you're viewed or how you approach things and you're like oh my gosh does everyone see me like that I swear I'm not a monster um, so it will be interesting to see how this plays out but all bets are off this week it is the tower card right as your key to the week which means be on your toes be ready to pivot at any at any given moment and do expect some sort of shocking or uh, upheaving kind of news with that said, uh, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button for your actions and options. You have the sun card. So you're well and truly protected, right? Look at this. You've got the sun in your actions and options. Your plans are not being disrupted here. Now, it's interesting because this same combination came up for Scorpio just in different positions. Uh, but what I do need to tell you is this uh, combination, I'm going to give you the challenge first, right? So I've given you some nice stuff about the tower and how it might show up. I'm going to give you, and you know, this combination. I'm going to give you the crap, and then I'm going to give you another slice of cake, okay? <laughs> so um, this combination can speak to forest fires, bushfires, usually things that happen out in the open, right? So if you live in an area where there is, it's quite rural and stuff, watch out for this because it may show up this week, all right? Um, and I really hope that I'm wrong on that front. That's the challenging news. The great news is your steps this week, it's like you'd have to work really hard for your plans not to go right. They may not go exactly according to plan, but whatever you do get is going to be better than what you expected. So like if there are detours and challenges and issues that come up, ask yourself, what better is coming in for me, right? And because that's what it's about. This is a, a detour or a reroute. It's kind of like, you know, you're on your, your life path and then your life sat nav changes and it's like, okay, we're going this way, but the destination is still the same. All right, so hang on to that. That being said, you are gathering some sort of or gaining some sort of blessing or boon, but more importantly, you are the blessing that shows up for a lot of people this week. And I actually really love this for you because it suggests that whatever you're sharing or diving divulging, even if it is something quite shocking, it will be very beneficial to a lot of people. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Hierophant card. So I would watch out for some kind of um, breakdown of, and I don't think it's going to be the communication lines. I don't even feel like it will be the food lines, to be honest with you, but there is a, like, there's a breakdown of a system and or an establishment in your local area. This is something that's going to come close, but it's not going to be directly impacting you, if that makes sense. It will be happening in your wider locality. The Hierophant card represents establishments, um, you know, local authorities, government, etc. There's something that is having a system breakdown this week. And with that Hierophant card in your communications and conversations, you may be the one that has some sort of, maybe you have the intel that people need and it's finding a way to get that out so that it can assist more people. 
which kind of fits in with this you are the blessing energy this week. I'm really intrigued by what this could be. For those of you that are studying or students in the academic sphere, um, the Hierophant card bodes very well. It suggests that if you're applying for colleges, universities, schools, all of that kind of stuff, this suggests that you get your pick, but the pick that you've chosen, it looks like is gonna be the most traditional or the most well-known. It's gonna be like, you know, one of those ones that's ranked because it's a name, like all of that kind of stuff. You are gonna be expected to perform here. Um, and for some of you, it looks like this is a surprise. So for those of you that have been locked out of certain schools or areas, um, you know, this could be where you get a call or an email or a text, uh, not a text message, a call or an email, or maybe even a letter to say, we've had a place open up and we can now accept you. So for those of you that have been sort of turned away from a big choice that you wanted because it's a name or whatever, this could be some really great news in that regard, especially because you've got the sun card. With those of you that are, um, employed by somebody else I would expect some sort of some sort of uh, upheaval in the workplace this week there's something about the usual systems or the usual run of the mill that is breaking down this could actually still be very good for you for those of you that are uh, business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs people that work for themselves in a lot of ways, this is you breaking your own system down in order to reboot it in a different way, right? And so sometimes when a reboot happens, what is it for? It's to change the format, to change the look, to add something, to put an effect in, all the rest of it. This could be like, if you're using this week to kind of say, right, okay, tools down, switch it off, when we go back on, all the changes are gonna be implemented. There's something here about your business that seems to be being updated or upgraded. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, um, this, this, I mean, this could be a week where a lot of you are um, maybe interacting with a religious uh, sector in some way, shape or form uh, for any number of reasons, but it could just as easily be that you're delving into a new level of your, of your spirituality. For your love and relations, you've got the devil card. So, I mean, look at this, right? So far, we're three for three, and these are big cards, right? You've got the devil right underneath the sun. So for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is sexy, this is sensual, it's fun, it's, dare I say it, delectably and deliciously naughty. <laughs> um, and I will say no more on that front because I ain't getting into all of that, but it could literally just be that, right? Like you and your partner could be on that level. Um, for those of you that are single and looking, look, I'm gonna be really honest with you, this, suggests to me like there could be some really amazing sexual chemistry with somebody that you know is either no good for you uh, right <sighs> or um it could be that this person it's like a taboo relationship maybe this person is like your executive senior boss uh, you know so like your boss's boss or maybe this person is you know 10 plus years older than you maybe this you know person introduces you to something that is you know a little bit taboo or like you know <laughs> I'm sorry my cheeks are gonna start going red in a minute so I'm gonna shut up but yeah basically you could be if you're single and ready to mingle you could be having fun this week <laughs> look I'm not even gonna look but you could be having fun this week <laughs> with somebody that, you know, might raise an eyebrow. I'm just gonna put it that way. <laughs> For your money and materials, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. With a week like this, my dear Saggies, don't waste it. Even, like I said, even with the challenges that may, may arise, there are gonna be pockets of surprise in all areas of your life. This is likely to bring some financial blessing or reward that comes either very suddenly or after a long period of waiting. It's like, what was the hold up then? This thing just shows up, bang, in full force, and you're like, so what was the hold up? If you've applied for loans, grants, bursaries, and that money has been on hold or waiting, this week it's released to you, um, which, you know, fantastic. When it comes to your, so, uh, okay, there is something else that I want to just, 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 well, not only just seeing, but the Hierophant with the Devil card, that can be, um, the, the challenge of this week, I think one of the big challenges this week could be that you have a very intense conversation around 
uh, religion, spirituality, and or interaction with a religious body. So watch out for that as well. Um, and then for your physical health and vitality, I love the Ace of Pentacles, especially for like, this could be a week where you're starting some new regime, some new diet. It could also be a time where you are rededicating to your health goals and this, this time it will stick. For those, uh, and then when it comes to your home and environment, this is, I mean, in a lot of ways, this is like a new home. So for some of you, this could be maybe doing something to the home that makes it feel new this week. For others, this could be a time where you are looking to get out of Dodge, whatever that might mean. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.